With the shift click drop feature now introduced to old school RuneScape, a number of different skills have been made a little bit easier to train. Any skill that involves having to fill up your inventory with a resource and then having to get rid of it quickly and you're not near a bank is made a lot easier because you don't have to go through the sort of clunky interface of right clicking and then trying to hit the small hitbox that is the drop and if you miss you have to go through it again and luckily you don't have to do that anymore so right now we are going to go through five skills made easier with the shift click drop feature. To enable the feature click on the spanner then on the joystick and toggle the shift click drop option. One skill made easier with this feature is fishing, more specifically barbarian fishing at Alls Grotto. The basics of this method if you don't really want to delve into tick fishing, things like that like tick manipulation is you just fish a full inventory then you drop it or you fish one drop it, fish one drop it, fish one drop it over and over again. Doing that grants more XP per hour than your average sort of AFK fishing lobsters, monkfish, sharks, whatever it is that you do. After spending some time doing this method I was getting around 55k XP per hour. When you compare it to like an average method of let's say fishing lobsters or fishing monkfish which is a little bit more AFK, power fishing at Alton's Grotto is about 15k XP more per hour. However it is just slightly more click intensive that you have to actually drop the inventory but it is obviously made a lot better with the shift click drop feature. If you want to take it up a notch, what you're watching here is Automology 3 tick fishing, which pretty much doubles the experience from the average sort of power fishing at the same place. This gives you over 100k XP per hour if you're willing to put in the time to actually learn how to do this and then actually do it, the really click intensive skilling. Even this insane type of fishing is made easier with the shift click drop feature, so it might be a little bit easier for the average player to learn. It's not only barbarian fishing at Otto's Grotto that's made easier, any type of fishing where you want to drop the fish instead of bank them for faster XP has been improved, including fly fishing which is also available for free players and it's the fastest way to get net a nine in free to play. Another skill made easier with the shift click dropping is mining. Power mining granite and or iron has been known to be the best XP per hour mining methods there is out there. It's very similar to the fishing method where you can either fish a full inventory and then drop it all at once and then go back to AFK fishing a full inventory or you can do what I done in the video which was mine three rocks, drop three ores, mine three rocks, drop three ores over again. I actually really started to enjoy doing this for some reason, I don't really know why but I stuck around for a while and I ended up getting around 52 to 53k XP per hour. And again if you compare it to the average method which would be in this case motherboard mine, it's around 20k XP more per hour. Mining granite in the same way you would mine the iron ore is more XP per hour after level 80, before level 80 it's about the same. But doing the iron ore is less hassle because you don't need to worry about water skins or keeping yourself hydrated. And once again, if you're doing tick manipulation skilling, which you can do with mining, you can do three tick mining. It grants you basically double that XP. You get like around 100,000 XP per hour if you three tick granite. And when you do tick skilling with the gathering skills and you have to drop it, obviously dropping is made a little bit easier because you don't have to right click drop, you just shift click drop. Are you surprised that the third skill in this list of five skills that have been improved with the shift click dropping is wood cutting because it is another method that you can basically power. Power chopping or power cutting, however you want to say it, is a lot faster than AFK chopping willow trees, yew trees, magic trees, redwood trees. And like the last two skills you can do this with tech manipulation for even faster XP but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to do it the average duo way. So what I'm doing right now is power chopping teak trees in the Monkey Madness Island. This method is even faster with an infernal axe which I'm using which has a chance, a 25% chance of burning a log that you chop so it doesn't appear in the inventory and you get a little bit of fire making experience as well. And obviously when your inventory is filled with teak logs you can just shift click drop a full inventory a lot faster than you would be able to do in the past. You can see I'm not very good at um, clicking in this game. I don't typically do methods that are anywhere near click intensive, I just AFK my way through this game. So I stuck around for a while and I ended up raking in 77k woodcutting XP per hour which is pretty damn good. Obviously the tick woodcutting is hell of a lot faster and can pretty much double your experience. Finally a skill that isn't the basic gathering skills woodcutting, mining and fishing Hunter. Almost every training method of hunting requires you to collect bones or collect fur or collect the animal that you caught and then either drop it or bank it. Typically hunting spots aren't anywhere near banks so you're going to have to end up dropping everything in order to continue training. And now that shift click dropping is a feature and including inventories is so much easier, so is hunting. 
Now I didn't really calculate any XP per hour methods because the entire skill has pretty much been affected no matter if you're level 1 or level 99 if you're collecting something or hunting something that fills up your inventory you're obviously going to have to drop it and it makes the whole process of the skill just a tiny bit faster and more bearable. One aspect of the skill which I think has been improved by quite a lot is the falconry area. You typically can only catch like 13 or 14 kebets before your inventory gets full and then the process of dropping that all is such a pain in the ass and it happens so frequently because you catch things so fast in this method. Now that you can shift click drop the things pretty quickly I think this method has been improved and it's more useful after like level 50 or so. So I couldn't actually think of a fifth skill that would be improved with shift click dropping. I had to turn to the clan chat and ask those guys, hey do you guys know any skill that would be slightly improved now that you can drop things a lot faster? And the suggestion they gave back was thieving. I thought that was a pretty good one actually because almost at any level of thieving you can steal from a stall and stall thieving fills up your inventory with junk that you want to just drop quickly, get rid of it quickly so you can continue thieving, continue the grind to level up your guy. And it's sort of similar with some pickpocketing methods. Master Farmers is the one that came to mind for me. When you pickpocket Master Farmer you get a ton of random seeds, worthless seeds, all worth like 1 GP. There's only a few in there that are actually worth something, worth keeping. So what I figured would be pretty handy with the shift click drop thing was have the valuable seeds that you get, move them to the bottom of the inventory and then when you get full and you can no longer pickpocket them, just drop all the junk and then continue pickpocketing. Unfortunately I don't think the shift click dropping affects high level thieving. I think anywhere between like level 1 and 50. Examples being the master farmer you've just seen or very low level thieving like stealing cakes. You don't really want the bread or the slices of chocolate cake. You only want the white cakes or if any cakes at all maybe you're just doing it for the XP and you typically want to get rid of all that stuff pretty quickly and dropping it all is way faster than running to the bank. So yeah, that was my list of five skills I think has been improved via the shift click dropping mechanic now introduced to old school RuneScape. Now I've only mentioned five skills out of what, 28 I think? So if you can think of a shift click drop use that would be handy in other skills, feel free to share it below.